Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Drill. In today's video, we are diving into an exciting and powerful capability of GitHub Copilot. Cross repository reference. If you have ever found yourself hopping between multiple repos just to understand the full picture, then this video is for you. In real world software development, no code lives in isolation. You might be working in a friend end repository and suddenly needs to check how an API is implemented in a backend repo. Or you are building a machine learning pipeline that depends on a shared preprocessing library maintained in a different repository. There are a lot of common scenarios like a UI developer needs to understand the data structure returned by an endpoint from an API repository. An ML engineer needs to reuse utility functions from a shared ML core repository. A developer onboarding to a new project wants to follow internal architecture guidelines, which is stored in a separate documentation repository. Or maybe you need to look up how a shared authentication library works that is maintained somewhere else. In all these cases, working with a single repository context simply not enough. That is where GitHub Copilot's harsh GitHub repo tool comes in. This powerful feature allows you to search other repositories which are not part of your current workspace. Let me show you how it works in action. I'm moving to Visual Studio. Currently, we are not open any VS Code project in our VS Code. Let us ask Copilot to get the details of an API defined in a remote repository using harsh GitHub repo tool. So it's going to search the GitHub repository and get the detailed information of the different APIs defined in this repository. Currently, we don't have any project open, no workspace at all, and you will be able to see the different API and the URLs it's provided. Let us check the repository, how it's defined. You have a real estate API here. Under that, you have a couple of controllers, home, property controller and user controller. If I open the property controller, there is a hello API, then get, get by ID, top offers, post. These are the methods defined. If I look at the response from Copilot, I have exactly the same response in detail provided by Copilot. Here, we are referring a repository which are not connected to our current workspace at all. I can drill down and ask further questions to GitHub Copilot, like suggest how to invoke the get API from JavaScript. And if I want a specific get API, this a get by ID, that is what I am looking at. GitHub Copilot will look for the details and it suggests the code in JavaScript, how I can invoke this particular API. Here it's a simple get API invocation. Sometimes you may need to pass some detailed information, but in this case, it's a simple API call where the property ID is the only information needs to be passed and it's provided a detailed info implementation of how I can invoke this particular API. When it comes to post, I should be aware of how this property model or object is defined before invoking this particular API endpoint. So let me just take the help of Copilot to understand how to invoke the following API. And I need to specify from which technology because I don't have a workspace right now. If you have a workspace opened, no need to specify the technology. As a continuation to GitHub repo tool, 
I'm asking Copilot subsequent questions, how I can invoke and get more details of each of the API endpoints. Here, Copilot is defined a method to invoke this base URL, but property data as a past information. And the new property, if you look at the new property, these are the fields it's expecting. A name, location, price, and description. Based on that, I can invoke the add new property. Similarly, if you have some style information, here I have a style guidelines defined in a different repository. That is AMB org style gates gives the style information for Python and uh, C sharp. It's a Python language styles. If I need some information about this one, I can simply ask Copilot to hash GitHub repo, get the Python naming styles from AMB org slash style gates. So from a repository, get me the style information which I have defined on that repository using GitHub report tool. I'm using this GitHub report tool for getting the information from a different repository. GitHub report tool help us to cross reference or reference multiple repositories from our workspace. In this case, it's provided all the Python naming conventions defined in a separate repository. As a newbie to the project, I can understand how it's defined as part of a centralized architecture or style gate repository quickly using GitHub Copilot. Most of the time, we may need to reference multiple repositories. Instead of passing your repository detail as part of hash GitHub repo tool, you will be able to define that as part of your custom instructions. We'll have a detailed look on that as part of our custom instruction video. Remember that hash GitHub repo tool is only for searching the relevant code snippets. In case you are looking for GitHub issues or PRs or any other details, you can use GitHub MCP server. Similarly, if you are looking for any information on the repository you are currently working, you can use harsh code based tool. GitHub Copilot's cross repository reference capability help us to collaborate better, develop using multiple repositories, reference information from many other repositories. Try out Harsh GitHub Report Tool today and share your feedback.